Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and yesterday Universal dropped some major, major breaking news in Frisco, Texas, as well as in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, they announced this brand new theme park, as well as a Halloween Horror Nights 20, uh, year-round event in Las Vegas. I did a Halloween Horror Nights video yesterday explaining all that coming to area 15 so definitely check that out subscribe for updates on that because uh, i live uh, obviously pretty close to vegas i was just there over the holiday holiday season so i'll certainly be there for that but in this video we're going to talk about the brand new theme park that universal announced right here in texas in frisco Tex texas which is a suburb just about 30 miles north of dallas i believe um 30 miles north or south, but it's a suburb of Dallas, and Universal announced this, and this is a theme park, but it, it's it's geared towards younger families. This theme park is geared towards, uh, you know, uh, it's like a Legoland or Sesame Place type, no, I don't, I wouldn't say actually Sesame Place, maybe older than that. Legoland is the best comparison for this, and it's geared towards younger audiences, and therefore it's smaller than a typical park. Islands of Adventure is 110 acres, and this is 100 acres, but it, that's the total plot of land. It's about 97 acres. The 97 acres is split between the hotel, you know, back of house structures, and uh, these look to be four, maybe five lands here. There's room for expansion in these 97 acres as well. So this, what you see here, is not using all 97 acres. There will be a 300-room hotel at the front, which is great, integrated right into the park, which is super cool. And a lot of jokes on Twitter, including myself, that said, look, this mini U.S. park has a guaranteed hotel, yet Universal Studios Hollywood still has no hotel, which is hilarious. But the hotel looks very integrated into the park, which is very, very nice. And these are, I'm going to go over land by land what I think we uh can be expecting here but let's start off with the main hub or let's start off with the hotel first Alrighty, so when we get into the front of the land you can immediately see some clouds i'm not sure if some of the clouds look transparent so it may just be part of the concept art and not the clouds like in the 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 not on the sides but i'm talking about those clear transparent clouds i'll put an arrow to them so you know what i'm talking about but there are two clouds that look like they're actual permanent structures, like it's kind of shade structures and a fountain as you head inside the park. And you see a, a moon-shaped structure, a blue moon-shaped structure, and it looks like a blue circle, but it looks like inside it's kind of reminiscent of the DreamWorks logo, which makes me think... This may be like a DreamWorks destination or a dream world. Some great people are coming up with great names on for like dream worlds, DreamWorks destination, of course, which was um, temporarily taking over, temporarily over in Kid Zone at Universal Studios Florida, which just closed, by the way. Some of these concepts you can kind of look to for a potential uh, to potential see what's going on at the Epic or Universal Studios Florida reimagination of, of Kid Zone. So. We can that's be very close, uh, looking at that very closely because it'd be very easy to clone a lot of these things. They're just simple flat rides. But yeah, likely that this is a DreamWorks park. It's likely the hotel will be themed to DreamWorks as well, which is perfect. That is, it's a children's animation. It's really for everyone, but it's all it geared towards the children as well. Doesn't look like there's illumination in here. At first, I thought in the trolls area, there's a it looks like a cardboard cutout of minions. Um, I'm not sure. It could still be that. But it seems like there's mostly DreamWorks, pro DreamWorks properties here. So let's start over actually with the proposed trolls area. And then go counterclockwise and talk about each land individually. Alright, so in the front we have the hotel. And then of course we have the proposed trolls land. I haven't seen many of the, or really any of the Trolls movies, but I do know their kind of color scheme and their animation style and those poppies, speaking of poppies, um, poppies a character in the Trolls franchise, 
those look like it looks like a troll area now this the show opening to the very right corner on the bottom right corner has some cardboard cutouts or some cutouts um reminiscent of the giant minion here at universal studios hollywood when i looked in there and tried to zoom in it looked potentially like a minion but it easily could just be a troll's troll as well Specifically because the entire area is trolls, it seems like. So it wouldn't make sense to have just a minion building and the rest of your land is trolls. So highly likely this is the trolls area in this corner. And then, of course, moving on up to the north, we move on to the far, far away land. Yeah, moving on to north, you see Shrek over there. Awesome to have see Shrek get nice presents. I, I miss the Shrek rides in the the actual parks so i'm glad that it's getting its own land here and singapore has a far far away land that i think is actually being um, converted or set to close soon which is unfortunate but yeah you can see shrek swamp here in a show building and then it's like half it's the swamp and half it is a far far away area with some flat rides maybe an indoor boat ride uh, and some of these parks like madagascar has an indoor boat ride in the singapore park and they're great it's a family oriented and kind of pies to the caribbean style boat ride hopefully one of those can fit uh here maybe adapted for shrek or madagascar or jurassic world because yeah that would be pretty cool because that's that's a nice again family boat ride and you can see a boat ride in the center here and we'll get to that in a second but yeah shrek is uh in the top right corner and i love me some shrek so it's gonna be very fun for the children over there and moving on to the left hand side we get to jurassic world yes jurassic world the billion dollar franchise it definitely has to make an appearance especially because it makes such great uh such great experience environment for a theme park land since the movie was a theme park and this is looks to be based on the jurassic world camp crustaceous uh series on netflix which was fantastic it had five seasons it unfortunately ended but they're all great. There are very about ten episodes, about twenty five or so minutes apiece. I been every time a season came out, I binged it within like two to three days. It was very easy watch, very easy binge. And it's a very good show. There's again all five seasons on Netflix right now, so it's not just for children. It's an animated show, but plenty of adults watch it too because it constantly made it in the Netflix top ten and even the Nielsen charts. So again, more than just kids are watching it, which is great. This area clearly resembles the camp crustaceous environment that they kind of lived in like a tree house a modern tree house and you can see that with those hut style structures uh, just above the jurassic world lettering right there um so can't i'm very excited for that i can't wait to see what that looks like and maybe there'll be a play area or maybe a boat ride or some type of ride over there now of note there is a coaster in this area it's way in the back so faint i thought it was a water slide at first like a kind of a, one of those dry slides that um they had like a, a six Flags magic mountain had you send me you somebody sam's uh falls that was kind of a water slide but a dry slide right you sat on a mat i thought it was something like that but no uh further upon further investigation looking it's definitely a roller coaster a small kitty coaster and of course jurassic world out of these franchises is certainly the most uh, likely I think to have a coaster, maybe a little mini Velaz coaster in here, but or it could be an up petrol on flyers as well. Now, the last land I'm not too sure about. That's the one all the way to the left, just under Jurassic World. Not too sure about. Uh, I'm thinking Madagascar, but it could just be a generic park area. I was also thinking Kung Fu Panda because I thought I saw some statues that kind of resemble like Asian statues. So. Or like a panda statue and i thought even some of those umbrellas i thought those were like chinese lanterns but they turned out to be just umbrellas upon further investigation um so not too sure about this particular land um but whatever it is it looks like it has a water play area which is always fun for the children and it's sure to be great and i like how each land seems to be about the same size troll seems to be the biggest it's funny that it's in the same spot where in the Epic Universe, How to Train Your Dragon is, and and that park, that land is the biggest. So Universal seems to make being Universal making their biggest lands, and that looks like the southeast corners of their parks, of their new parks, which is uh, 
either coincidence or on purpose. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's go ahead and look, talk about that boat ride in the hub. The hub has a boat ride that I honestly don't think it's themed to anything. This reminds me of the Coast Cruise attraction at uh, Legoland Parks. Um, it's you get on a boat right around, right around the you know the entrance to the park. You take the boat, it takes you around Mini Land. There's the Mini Land the USA here in at Legoland California has a bay. You go along the bay and kind of just takes you on the park on a nice relaxing boat ride. It's called the Coast Cruise, and there's some animatronic Lego figures of different replicas of things. This what that is what this looks like because you see you load right in the center the, of the pond here, then you go through a, under a bridge and all the way, and then kind of around past the trolls land, then behind the to the Shrek area, then by Cramp Crustaceous you see another boat over there, then kind of wander past Madagascar, and then you return. So I think this is just one of those leisure, leisurely transportation type rides in the park. There actually maybe even be stops. Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like from here that there's any stations or anything, but it could be potential stations that, you know, take instead of like a train or mono, you just take the boat from land to land to land if you don't want to walk around the park. And that would be fantastic, too. That would be a cool idea. Um, not many parks have that. Epcot does. Um, and Disney World Parks. And uh, Universal Orlando as well, between the hotels and the actual parks. But, like, within the, within the park... I think only Epcot's the only, only one I can think of that has something like that, which is pretty awesome. It's like Get Around the World Showcase, take the water taxi. This could be something very similar. But yeah, all in all, I think this is a great idea for a park. It's expanding to a new market, Texas, where Disney or Universal are, are not already. There's just SeaWorld, but there's no Sea to Fair parks there. And Six Flags has a couple parks in Texas and their headquarters, but that's it. Um, a high quality. A regional park aimed at younger children is exactly what I think Texas needs. It's a good idea for Universal to increase their brand awareness, and they stated there are plans for multiple of these types of parks in different parts of the country. So comment below, what other states do you think and cities would you think would be best suited for this type of environment? Again, uh, you can do realistic expectations, or you can uh, do which one, if you just want one near you, comment down below. Just think. Uh, they probably want to put wouldn't want to put it in a snowy location because it would have to close or be seasonal like Legoland, Florida. But Legoland did it so they could. You never know. Let me know in the comments below what cities, states you think this could be in. What you guys think of this park? We was something you'll if you live in Texas, would you take your children to this? Would you fly across the country to take your children to this? Um, let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic day. Subscribe for more theme park updates.